Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you the Nintendo GameCube controllers fully working on the Nintendo Switch. So this has come about as of the recent update version 4.0.0 in the middle of October 2017. Now months ago I managed to get the GameCube controllers working on the Switch. It just so happened that they were all working as player one so it didn't matter how many you connected they all worked as one controller. But now as of this latest update they're all working independently as separate controllers which is what you want. Now you don't have to have the official GameCube to Wii U adapter. I've got third party ones here. I've got one made by Mayflash and I've got one made by GameSeek and they both work perfectly. And what I've done is I've connected them both up to the Nintendo Switch. So I've actually got two adapters connected. I've plugged one GameCube controller into here and two into here. And all three of them work perfectly. So that will mean that you can have four GameCube controllers plugged into here and four plugged into here. So you will be able to have eight GameCube controllers just like you did on the Wii U. So, you will get two leads on each one, but you only actually need the black USBs to make them work. The gray USBs is to give them extra power to allow you to have the rumble feature. It just so happens that the rumble feature is not working anyway. Even when you connect up both USBs, nothing's happening. Now, it will also work if you plug it in via a USB hub. So pretend now your USB, remember we've only got three USB ports on the switch, two at the side and one at the back. If they're used up, it's not a problem. Just unplug one of them, plug in a USB hub, and then you can plug in your adapters into here. I've also plugged in a hub into a hub. So I had two USB connected, and I had these adapters plugged in, plus a couple of other gaming adapters, you know, like the Magic NS adapter as well, and they were all working fine. If I was to go to down to controllers, just to show you. Watch this, change grip order. Ready? So that's one player two players, three players, and let's do the Joy-Con as player four. There we go. Now, you will have to have a Joy-Con connected because there is no home button and I can't work out any combination of buttons to get me back home. So for example, on the 8-bit do, SFC 30 that I've got, all I've got to do is hit select and down to bring me back home, but I can't do any combinations of buttons to get me back home. Now, they do work really well. And interestingly, this yellow C-stick now will move its way around the screen as well. So if you have a look there. So for example, if I was to put on Mario Kart, I can steer left and right and I can accelerate going forward and back. So let me just show you that now. Right, watch this now. Normally you have to press A to accelerate and B to brake and go back. But now watch, I can go up on the C-stick and I can steer and I can do all my drifting around the corners. And I can also do my weapon here, the power up by hitting this button here, yeah? But that's interesting that you can use the C-stick for that. And now look, if I go back, you can see it reversing. Forward, reverse. But I can't steer left and right on this, it's only forward and back. Right, okay, so that's that, let me just go home. This is where we would need to use our USB hub. So if you have a look here, I've got a USB-C on the go cable. I'm gonna plug that into the bottom there and now just plug in the black cables. And now watch, you can see. Now if I go across, you will see that they're all working again. And this wireless one. And this very cheap third party controller works as well. Again, with the C stick moving around the place. There you go, so interesting times ahead with the GameCube controller on the Nintendo Switch. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how to videos. Take care, bye now.